I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here, because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm, or the closed fist? A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. But there can be advantages. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. 
You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. I am charged with giving what The turtle's shell protects him only from harm of which he is aware. Ask away. There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. Very well. I'll choose someone who is competent in one-on-one -on -one combat. This is only a practice bout, so fight until your opponent is knocked out. Get ready. Very good. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Let's see what you can learn. One day I'll reach your level of skill, but not unless I keep practicing with Smiling Mountain. It is an honor to be approached by the school's most senior student. My mother had high hopes for the school when she sent me here from the capital. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. I haven't yet settled in. My studies in the Imperial City were far inferior to the instruction you've had. I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Lee? You and Dawnstar have both had a lifetime of training under Master Lee. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? He is one man and guides his students well. My last school had two masters who feuded all the time. It made learning very difficult. At the Black Leopard School, I learned the bare basics of a style under First Brother Kai, but not enough to say I'd mastered anything more than a few core techniques. I'd demonstrate, but I don't think I even could. Master Lee's teachings have been so much more effective that I have forgotten most of what I learned in the capital. He is greatly skilled and tutors his students intently. You especially. My school in the city was mired in politics, not an environment that promotes diligent study. Goodbye. Take care of yourself.
Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jingwu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the weapon master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gu Jin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. 
It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Li allowed him to stay so that the influence of the Father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Li's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C-Pat on his way to help Kia in. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Li was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but not even Master Li knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Li discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Li say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course, good company will make the walk go faster. <laughs> <laughs> 